Hi guys, welcome or welcome back in my channel. This is gonna be my watercolor tour video where I show you all my watercolor palettes. I wanted to make this video not just to brag about all my beautiful products and how lucky I am, but to give you informations, useful informations to uh, is the right product for you. So I really hope you will find this video useful. Let me know with some comments down here. And you will also find me on Instagram. I will give you the link down here in the description box. So please come to follow me there where I am really, really active. First of all, I wanted to show you my low cost watercolors. These are by The Flying Tiger, which is a Danish brand, I guess. The box is made of plastic and it's it's quite harsh to open it. And the lid came apart, which was not good. First thing I do is to look at my watercolors when they are dry. And these are really, really dry. As you can see, they're also cracked and that's not a good sign at all. So let's see how they work on paper. As you can see, you can see the strokes and that really is not a good sign at all. It doesn't have to happen with watercolors. It's really hard to paint with them, as you can see. They don't really dissolve in water and the effect is quite thick and um, chalky. They have this covering effect they are opaque, extremely opaque, no transparent at all, which is really bad for watercolors. They are quite pigmented, but really chalky, and they even crack on paper, which never happened to me before. The color selection is quite standard, I, I can say, but that purple is too light. So from 0 to 10, I will give them a 3. Second product I'm going to show you here is by Little, which is a German, German brand. It's a supermarket chain, very famous here in, in, in Europe. I do not particularly like the box, which is too big and not comfortable at all. They come with a brush, but it's one of those totally useless brushes. So let's see how they work on paper. And they are surprisingly smooth. Working them on paper, they are really smooth and they blend together quite nicely. They are bright, even though they are, of course, opaque, very opaque, but they are not chalky at all. So from zero to 10, I will give them a six and a half. So let's move on to real actual art supplies products that you can buy on art supplies stores. My favorite one is Cotman by Winsor & Newton and these watercolors are so famous, I don't even need to talk about them. The box is plastic but it's a very high quality plastic and it's really comfortable. It's quite small and light and it's the perfect pocket size. So just take a look at them when they're dry and you can see they are slightly glossy. They are very well pigmented, really bright and really, really transparent. The colors are bright but really, really natural. This is a very classical palette. When you put them on paper, they are really smooth and they blend by themselves. Practically, they blend so smoothly and so well. The color selection is really classical. Colors are bright, but very natural. The pigments themselves are not too fine and they do granulate quite well. From 0 to 10, I will give them a 7.
So let's move on to my next favorite palette for students, which is the Deleroni Aquafine. The price is identical to the previous one. And actually, this is the direct competitor for Cottonmouth by Winsor & Newton. So the two palettes are really, really similar. Let's take a look at the box, which is plastic as the previous one, but it's less comfortable, I may say. Comparing the two boxes, the Aquafine box is bigger, just slightly bigger. It's one and a half centimeter, not much, but it's uh, thicker and it's also heavier. Let's take a look at them when, when they're dry. And as you can see, they are super glossy. On paper, they work really well. They blend together nicely, they are bright, and I would say a little bit more transparent than the Cotman's, especially some colors like the yellows, the earth colors, the blues, they are really transparent. And the, the color selection is quite classical, like the Cotman's is, is almost identical, I may say. And the effect is natural but bright. So from zero to 10, I will give them between seven and eight, seven slash eight, eight minus. So let's move on to the Lucas Aquarel Studio. Uh, I'm, I should say Aquarel, I guess. They are from Germany. The box is made of plastic. I don't particularly like this box. First of all, because it's really, really hard to open it. I broke my nails many times trying opening it. The um, size of the box is identical to the Cotman's, but I really don't like it. Um, it's, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I, I find it heavier and thicker and just less comfortable. So let's take a first look and they look absolutely silky and really vibrant and bright. As you can see, the color selection is different. They are not as natural as the previous ones. And this palette has primary colors. We have magenta, cyan blue, primary yellow. So this allows you to create brighter secondary colors. I personally think that they are more suitable for illustration or comic rather than landscapes or portraits. But when you put them on paper, they blend nicely and fully and the pigments are super fine. Uh, there's no granulation at all. The effect is really, really bright and um, the transparency is quite average. Um, so from zero to 10, I will give them a seven. And last but not least, my beautiful, beautiful Sonet by Nevskaya Palitra. This is a Russian brand and it's the same of the super famous White Knights. The first difference from the other ones is that this brand only makes full pants. So you, you won't find the half pan, but the entire full pan, which is amazing. The package here is not as fancy as the other ones, but you can remove them and put them in an, a different box, for example, if you don't like this one. When you look at them dry, you look at those colors and you can see how glossy they are. The pigments are really, really fine. And um, some of them are a little bit stainy. And the color selection for this set here is perfect. I mean, perfect for landscape, for portrait, for illustration, for comics. On paper, they are hyper pigmented. They dissolve immediately and look, look at them. It's incredible how smooth they are and how they blend together. So from zero to 10, I will give them a between eight and nine, I would say a nine minus. And finally, the top quality, the higher quality ever. These are all the brands that I uh, own. The price for these palettes here is quite high. It goes from 70 euros to 
more than 100 euros. So let's get started with Artists by Della Roni. Well, let's take a look at the box and it's one of the weirdest I have. I call it the spaceship <laughs> because it's so big and weird. They look uh, silky, no cracks, the colors are bright but natural, and they are very, very pigmented. I think that they are perfect for a very classical style, uh, but also for something different, for illustration, for example, or comics. On paper, they are smooth and they blend great. The granulation is quite high, I would say, and the transparency is amazing. From 0 to 10, I would give them a 9 minus. And here we go with the Lucas 1862, which is one of my favorite brands ever. They are quite pricey. It's one of my favorite boxes because it's pocket size. Let's talk about the color selection, which is quite different from, you know, a classical watercolor set. So the colors are less natural, less classical, and I find it more suitable for illustration or comic. On paper, they are so smooth, you guys have no idea. Pigments are super fine, um, they dissolve instantly. They contain honey, so they are more transparent and vibrant. And this set here also contains primary colors, which is not common right now. So from 0 to 10, I will give them a 9. Here we have another brand which is an Italian brand actually, and it's called My Mary. And these are the extra fine watercolors, so the high quality, top quality, super professional watercolors. This in particular is a great selection of colors. They are versatile, look how glossy they look. They are extremely transparent, they are bright but not fake, they are versatile. So from 0 to 10, I would say this is a 9. So the last one I want to show you is this one. This is by Nila. This brand is really new and it's a handmade Italian brand. And look at how precious is everything here, like the box for instance. Well, I have to say they look different from any other watercolor set. I've ever seen. The color selection is really particular. You will find here colors that you won't find in other brands, like that aqua green, which is, oh my goodness, my favorite one ever. The philosophy which is behind this brand is incredible. The person who makes these colors also extracts the colors from plants. I mean, they don't just use pigments, but they actually extract pigments from plants. These colors are really particular, really unique, very natural, but full, bright, and extremely transparent. They are the most transparent above all the watercolors sets that I've shown you here. Working with them on paper is a completely different experience than regular watercolors. They are smooth, of course, but they stay on the surface. And this allows you to work them more. So from 0 to 10, I will give them a 9 and a half.
So guys, this is it. I hope this video was useful for you and interesting and also entertaining. So let me know with some comments down here. Thumbs ups, thumbs ups, thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram for more watercolor. See you soon. Bye. Ciao.